Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cheese. Today we're making chicken parmesan. Let's get it. First things first, we're gonna chop up one whole onion. In a piece of plastic or a saran wrap, you're gonna add one chicken breast. If you're using a Ziploc bag, don't close it. Then we're gonna use a meat mallet or meat tenderizer to flatten this piece of chicken. You can use a bottle or whatever heavy, durable object you have and just beat out your chicken. How about the? You're gonna flatten until it's a little less than half of an inch thick. I'm gonna take that out of the plastic and then we're gonna season it. I'm gonna add some salt, black pepper. Freshly cracked black pepper. Some onion powder. And some garlic powder. Once you're done seasoning, it should look something like this. And then you flip it over and season the other side. After you're done, we're gonna set this to the side. Next, we're gonna set up our breading station. We're gonna add about one cup of all-purpose flour to a vessel of your choosing. And you're gonna use about a cup of panko breadcrumbs into another vessel of your choosing. And about two eggs mixed together in another vessel of your choosing. To the dry ingredients, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to both some freshly cracked black pepper. garlic powder and onion powder but this time we're going to add a little bit of dried oregano to both and don't forget to whisk it together make sure everything is nice and even then we're going to take that chicken we put away and dredge it in the flour Then you're gonna shake it off and put it in the egg bath. And after the egg bath, we'll put it into the panko breadcrumbs. When you're done, it should look something like this. Into a frying vessel of your choice, we're gonna add some canola oil, about two cups worth. Once the oil is nice and hot, you can test with a wooden spatula or wooden utensil of sorts. It's starting to bubble, so it means it's hot enough. Then we're gonna take our battered bread and gently lay it away from you into the oil. You're gonna flip it. Once the other side is nice and golden brown, I'll flip it. So we can fry the other side. Put it every so often. You're gonna wait until you get a nice crust like this. You want it to look like that. Nice and golden brown. We're gonna take it off the heat and put it on a cooling rack. Into a cooking vessel of your choosing, we're gonna add some olive bottle oil. Into the oil, we're gonna add half the onions. After about 30 seconds, we're gonna crush in four cloves of garlic. After a couple minutes, after the onions have gotten nice and translucent, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. To our little concoction here, we're gonna add some freshly cracked black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and some oregano. After about 10 to 15 minutes of cooking down the tomato paste, we're gonna add 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes.
Don't forget to rinse out the can with a little bit of water to get the rest of that tomato out. You're gonna cook this over medium high heat for about 20 to 30 minutes or however long it takes to get all the water out of the sauce. You want this to reduce down by about half. You wanna make sure you stir the sauce occasionally so it doesn't burn. And after about five minutes, we're gonna add a couple of sprigs of basil in there. Then on top of your chicken, you're gonna take some mozzarella and shingle that across it. Then we're gonna take our chicken and put it into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. Bye. After about 10 to 15 minutes, it should look something like this. If you wanna get that little bit of char on top, you can use a torch. Fire. And there we have it. After about 20 minutes, you can see the sauce is reduced. Um, one way you can tell if you look right here, that was the line that we originally started the soup from and it's all the way down here. So it's reduced about 50% about of the way. And now you just salt to taste. So I can use a little bit of salt. Mix that up. And then you can also fish out the, bas um, the basils uh, whenever you get a chance and you see them. After fishing out all the basil leaves or and stems, kill the heat and you're done. Now you sold this over, hmm, can't speak. You're gonna serve this over some freshly cooked pasta. You know what time it is. It's munch time, baby. It's much time. Pasta in the sauce. Bite of that chicken. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That, ladies and gentlemen, is most definitely Cheeto delicious. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. See y'all next time, YouTube. Peace.